Ashley Costello of New Year's Day and um, this is the second day of Warp Tour so we're really feeling excited to talk to the leading female of uh, the band's Warp Tour here. Okay, so Ashley, um, how did you get into music? Um, I grew up listening to a lot of uh, other female fronted bands like um, my favorite band was Susie the Banshees when I was younger. She was a big influence on me and I just always kind of wanted to be like her so I've wanted to start a band ever since I was like five. Has your dream as a kid always to be a singer? Yes, it actually has. And do you feel like you have a mission in what you do? Do you have a personal activism? Yes. And what yeah. would that be? Um, when I started this band, it was started out of a bad breakup. And I wanted music that I wasn't hearing, the music to make me feel better. And there was a very specific point with this band and this record was uh, I wanted music that would make girls feel like empowered. Like the guy broke up with them, screw it, you know, don't need them. Right. And I get written to a lot that the songs make them feel that way. And that's so good. important to me. That's awesome. so, and it still helps me too. When I sing the songs, it makes me feel empowered. That is so great. Yeah, that was really a, a huge specific point that I tried to make. And did you find um, that you learned really fast on the differences between girls and guys in music, or do you feel that there's a difference? Oh yeah, there is a difference. Um, I, I don't know. It's uh, as far as being in a band with guys. Like guys are very. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to hate on them because I'm in a band with them, so I feel badly. But it's they tough being. Yeah, the, uh, they do communicate differently. Sometimes they forget that I'm a girl and that you know you got to be a little bit more sensitive with my feelings. You can't just bark at me. So I've had to get more tough in that aspect, like to have tougher skin. Mm -hmm. But my band's much sweethearts. If you're watching, you guys are sweethearts. So, other than um, influences in music, do you have other female influences um, that have really helped you with your drive and getting to where you want to be in, in life? Definitely, yeah. Um, this one may sound cliche, but my mom. <laughs> She's like, you know, your mom's gotta be your major influence. Nothing can bring that lady down, you know? Yeah. It makes it, when the day is really hard on tour and I'm smelly and I'm dirty and I'm just hungry and tired and pissed off, you know, I just remember my mom's spirit and how, you know, if it's bad, it's really not that bad. When you um, first got going um, in music and um, did you come across any obstacles or do you have any stories um, towards like, coming across um, obstacles and how did you how did you overcome those obstacles um as uh, specifically as being a female yeah yeah well um, at first like I've been um, approached by labels to be like an Avril Lavigne or an Ashley Simpson so that was definitely an obstacle because all, although tempting <laughs> although very tempting right um, you know you kind of have to be in it for the right reasons be in it for yourself be in it to make good music for good people. So that was definitely an obstacle because, you know, it's tempting. But I'm glad that I started the band I did. I'm happy about it. And and uh, I get mistaken for the merch girl a lot. So, yeah, but I love when that happens. When I get mistaken for the merch girl, I'm like, yes, I get to prove this guy wrong soon. Exactly. Yeah. The guy, the promoter will see me and he'll just go, oh, merch girl. Yeah, merch goes in the back. And I don't say anything. I just kind of go, oh, okay, and I go and I put it down, I'm real quiet about it, mm -hmm. and then I just rock their faces off. <laughs> That's awesome. So, do you do certain things on the roads for yourself? Do you take that time out? Because I know that yes. not only are you working hard, you're singing, so you must have to keep um, healthy. Um, what do you do to just sort of uh, keep your, your voice healthy, you know, and what do you do for you? Um, well, it's definitely, you know how, I don't know about you, but I love my girl time in the morning. I love just taking my time with my makeup and having that quiet time. And on tour, I really don't get to have that. So I always make sure I wake up like two hours before the guys do so I can have my quiet time. Even though that sucks, it's something we need. Mm -hmm. We need that like alone girl time, just kind of have fun with our makeup. And it sounds silly, but it's important. Do you have a certain diet on the road that you keep? Yeah. No soda. I mean, that's just a disaster. I try and stay away from fast food. If I do fast food, it's like the a side salad or a small fries. Or I mean, I stay completely away from fast food and soda. And 
if I have to. I basically live off of Subway. You know those cards where you get like eight? Yeah. And then you get one for free. I've gotten like 25 free sandwiches by now. I hate, I hate water. <laughs> I hate it. It's boring. I drink a lot of vitamin water. Oh, that's good. It makes me drink water and it's not boring. That's fun. Yeah. The yellow one's the flavor. That's awesome. I guess if you can give me one message to women, what would it be? It would be keep your hearts to yourselves and have no mercy about it. That's the way I try to live my life. Because I'm, I'm a Pisces, I'm kind of boy crazy. So I gotta tell myself, no mercy. <laughs> mm, give and take. That would be the message. <laughs> okay, and do you have a favorite knock-knock joke? Oh man! <laughs> I haven't told a knock-knock joke in a while. God, I wish the boys were here because they've been telling some good ones. It oh. might be maybe a bit too dirty to be, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll skip it. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, no, those are the only knock knock jokes I hear ever are from the boys. They're not good. <laughs> well, thank you so much for talking with us. This is yeah, thank great. you. And really, we're so excited to um, watch you guys all summer long um, on the Vans Warped Tour. Come check out New Year's Day.